what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Kimberly and this video topic is so important. Guys, on this channel, we're always talking about getting into new relationships and flirting, but it is just as important of a life skill to know how to get over someone and move on, whether that's a relationship or a past crush. Every single one of us gets rejected at some point in our lives, whether it's a crush situation and not working out the way we wanted to, or we get broken up with. How do we actually move on from that? The feelings you have after this happens are so universal and they're so normal. These six tips that I'm about to give you guys are going to help you move on that much faster and get back to feeling like yourself again sooner. But I told you so. I am so excited guys that this video is being sponsored by Benefit Cosmetics. I am such a huge fan of Benefit and have been for such a long time. Their makeup is amazing. It is such a perfect match, guys. We're doing a huge giveaway on Instagram right now for this breakup survival kit. Guys, this is everything you need to get over that crush or a relationship that didn't work out. This survival kit includes the brand new Benefit Roller Liner, which is so amazing, and lots of other Benefit makeup some chocolate, some books, some candles, and some squish candies. To enter, all you have to do is be following me at Kimberly Moffat on Instagram and be following Benefit Canada at Benefit Canada on Instagram as well. And leave a comment just to let me know that you are entering the giveaway. And I'll see you guys over there. Now back to the video. Tip number one to moving on from a crush or a past love is guys, don't try to squash your feelings. It can be really tempting just to put on a brave face and make everybody think that you're just your usual happy self. But the truth is you're probably gonna be feeling like a little bit glum at first, even if you didn't actually date this person. You might even wonder like, why am I crying over someone who didn't even date me in the first place? But your feelings are totally justified. It can be just as devastating losing a crush as losing an actual boyfriend friend or girlfriend. So just feel your feelings. Don't be afraid to talk to a friend. And if you don't want to talk to your friends about it, write in a journal, just anything to get it out and feel what you are feeling. You can easily do this. I know you can. Tip number two for moving on guys is to remind yourself that you are fabulous by creating a brand new look for yourself. The idea of this is to help you rock your inner bombshell as opposed to doing this to trying to make someone else jealous. Feeling confident and boosting your spirits is like a huge part of actually moving on and feeling good about yourself. So the look I've created is using the brand new Benefit Roller Liner, as well as the Roller Lash Mascara, which is my favorite Benefit mascara of all time. I also use the Precisely My Brow Pencil and the Roller Eye Bright Pink Brightening Waterline Eye Pencil. Guys, this is so gorgeous. I love a good smoky eye for a girl's night out or anytime you just want to feel super glam. I've gone with a more neutral lipstick to kind of offset the dramatic smoky eye. And there you have it, guys. I'm looking and feeling amazing and I'm ready for the next four tips on how to move on from a crush. Tip number three to moving on. This one's kind of weird, but it's been tried and true for me every single time. And it's to embrace the feminine energy around you. So whether you have a bunch of girlfriends, moms, sisters, plan a girl's day out because literally every girl can empathize with what you are going through. You might want to plan something like this or have someone else plan it for you if you're not feeling up to it. But either way, when you get around your friends or the women in your life, you're going to feel so much better and rejuvenated and kind of ready to move move on. Tip number four, guys, you may not want to do this one, but I promise you, you're going to feel so much better after. It's to do things by yourself. Doing things by yourself helps you develop confidence, but it also helps you explore like your interests, the things that you really like that maybe your crush or your ex or whoever didn't even like. So for example, if you're a vegan and you love exploring new vegan restaurants, check out some on your own. This can feel like personally rewarding for you, but it also gets you around other people, other people who share your interests and you never know who you're going to meet. Now you might be in a situation where you truly think that there is nobody out there who you could fall for again in the same way that you fell for this person. So tip number five is specifically to help you with that. 
And it's a little weird too, but it's to be a people watcher. So going out and doing things like sitting on a bench in a park and watching the people go by, or actually opening your eyes when you're riding the subway and looking at the people around you, consciously doing this reminds you that there are so many people in this world who exist. <laughs> right now, you might feel like this loss is the only person in the world who matters, but it's not gonna feel like that forever. And the sooner you realize how many other people there are in this world living their lives, the sooner you're gonna get to that place. Nice. Next is self-improvement. Now this is different than the self-love we talked about earlier. This is actually improving a skill or a part of yourself. Things like working out, networking, starting up a new hobby, all of these things actually improve a part of your skills or yourself and can actually help you feel more confident and ready to take on the world. You are already beautiful and perfect the way you are. We already know that, but just feeling like you're bettering yourself and making yourself know more or be able to do more, just having more skills, this just puts you in a good emotional state, makes you feel good, and even distracts you a little bit from what you might be going through right now. Just remember guys, if you are going through heartbreak right now, think about what your best friend would say to you. You're beautiful, you're talented, you're smart, and you're gonna be fine. Your friends know you well enough to know that you'll get through this, and I know you'll get through it too. I really hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you're still kind of having questions or wanna talk, I find that the comments of these videos are always an amazing place to get additional support and share your story, so don't feel afraid to do that here. Do not forget to enter the benefit giveaway over on Instagram by following me and benefit over there. And I'll see you guys next week for another video all about relationships. Bye.